Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be a paycheck, no, not a paycheck budget with me, a cash stuffing envelope video. And it's gonna be for my first paycheck of the month. I can't believe we're already in August. School is gonna start, next thing we'll know, it'll be Christmas and then the new year. But anyways, um, let's get started. Uh, I, I started doing, I started getting ahead that way my, the beginning of the video isn't too long, but the more that I did it, I started realizing I was putting in even the information that even changed. So I'll go review it and I add, I'll add the stuff that I messed up or when I realized. So I know I budgeted 2102.90 for my leftover. Actually, that was currently how much leftover I had for the month of July. And I am gonna show you guys a video to see what I did with 2000 because obviously I left 100 and the remaining I distributed it into um, the parts that I said that I was gonna do. But there's gonna be another video and I'll share with you guys how my monthly budget turned out if I went over, under, um, whatever. But I'll share with you guys with that in another video. But currently there was $100 left over. Um, and everything else stayed the same, just a couple changes. So my T-Mobile, I budgeted 212.17, but I actually got a text saying it was 220.17. Wait, is that right? I find it kind of odd because I did get a text message saying that T-Mobile. Um, yeah, 202.17. So that went down. Um, I'm gonna have my husband call um, this week coming in to remove the gym, which is $13.40, just so that we can um, get that off because he hasn't gone since we moved in. It's just been really hectic trying to get the yard done and everything before fall and winter. So, um, but I'm, I still. I'm still gonna put it in just because we're already in August 1st. By the time he calls and they remove it, I'm pretty sure I, I still have to pay the 1340. Um, the city bill, I did receive the city bill and I budgeted 210, but I actually came out to 270 with 26 cents. My gas bill, I have not received it. So um, it's, it's the summer. Last month, I believe I paid like 25 or 24. So I'm thinking it should be the same, but um, probably the same or less, but we'll see. So I can't, I haven't added it up, but obviously it's gonna be a little bit more. Um, I think last month it was like 900 and something. So probably roughly around there, but I'll update you guys on that. Um, for my cash envelopes, they all stay the same. The only thing that I didn't take out, so I budgeted $60 for stockpile. I didn't take out any just because I haven't used my stockpile money from last month, so there's no need for me to take it out anymore. I do need to go stockpiling because I, like I mentioned, the last couple of months, we're out of toothpaste. Boys are out of body wash. All my um, little stockpiles have been out, so since we go grocery shopping, I've been buying body wash and toothpaste um, with that grocery money, but I need to um, because I think my daughter and I were running out of our little stockpile of deodorants, the little ones that we had. We had about five and now we're down to zero. So I need to get this. Um, and then holidays. I forgot that we took out money from our holidays. I think it was from the 24th for the fair because the fair was here in our city over the 24th. So um, I think I took out $200 just for food and rides. So I'm gonna do $100 this month, um, this paycheck, and then 100 the next. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this up. Okay, so 110 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100 is a total of 510. Is that right? Let's see, 470, Ugh, what the heck, 470, um, plus 100 minus 60. I think that's about right. So 470 plus 100 minus 60 is 510. Yep. 
Um, and then everything else stayed the same. So 380 for my sinking funds. That's 110 for Christmas and 270 for our house fund. Um, if you guys are new, my house fund, um, we just moved into our new built house and we still have a lot of projects to do like our yard. We have other stuff that we need to get that my husband is doing it so that we don't have to waste money. We're saving money by my husband doing it. I feel bad because it's just been hectic. We got, I think, a little week behind just because a big uh, rainstorm came so we couldn't work on the yard. And then my husband left out of town this last week of July for work. So he's back. Um, and then we're back again trying to level it out because the rain messed it up a little bit. But, but that's where we're at with that money house fund. And then savings. Savings stayed the same. $100 always goes into savings. I like to put in each paycheck. And then for my 52 wing, uh, wingo, bingo savings challenge was 44, but I bumped it up to 45. So it's $145 that I took out. And I'm just gonna put that in the trash because we don't need that. So let's go on to the fun part, which is the cash stuffing part. And I'm gonna zoom you guys out. Okay, so I'm gonna go organize the money because I feel like sometimes the bank flips it over. And if you guys hear snoring, that's my dog. He's over here snoring on the couch. And yeah. Okay. Um, and I'm glad I'm not dealing with ones anymore. Okay, so the first one is my husband's allowance and he gets $100. For my allowance, I put it in, um, I'm just gonna leave it in checking and transfer it to my credit card because um, I bought some shirts from Sheen, an online store and they were cheap so I have to go and pay that off. Okay, for family fun, it gets $100, 100. And family fund, I have zero. And I think I might switch these family funds to 20, so I'm probably gonna get it for my Christmas fund. Just exchange them, just because more likely, you know, like McDonald's or an IC, they're not gonna wanna take $100 or half change for 100. Okay, Christmas is 110, so 110. Um, for Christmas, I need to get a new one. I currently have $17.95. I'm adding $110. That brings it up to $19.05. So let's go eight, one, paycheck number one, plus $110 is $19.05. Is that right? Let me see. $17.95 plus $110. 1905, yes. And I believe my goal is 2,500. So I'm almost there. All right, oh, I didn't even put the money in there. <laughs> what the heck? All right. Um, oh my gosh. And then 100. All right, the next one is my house fund, and my house fund gets 270. So one, 250, 60, 70. All right, let me go get my house fund money. I forgot that, my pen. All right, so for my house fund, in my house fund envelope, I currently have, so five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 dollars. And I'm gonna keep these in here just because I know we might need to get some topsoil, some rock, some stuff, so these ones will become helpful. Okay, um, the next one, I'm gonna do holidays. Next, I'll skip the 52, B, uh, 52 bingo um, at last, but for holidays, it's one ho $100. What the heck, I can't speak. Um, Birthdays and holidays right here. 
So for birthdays and holidays, I have $600. I don't need my calculator. I'm adding $100. That brings it up to $700. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hundred. And I should have $800. $800. So far, I think that's pretty good, 800. All right, so for my 52 bingo savings challenge, it's 45, so 45. But it was, it was 44. Oh, it was 44. So I'm gonna cross out 44. Holy crap, do you see I used brown and brown is all near this box, that's pretty funny. Um, if you guys wanna help me participate in the 52 week, 52 saving, bingo savings challenge, all you have to do is just comment down below with the amount of money that you think I should be putting in the following week. So let's see, it's even numbers and it starts from $2 up to, I believe the highest is 78. 82 has already been drawn and 60 have already been drawn. I like to draw ahead just because it's easier. That way I can budget for it. But I believe 78 is the highest right now and it's all even numbers. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this money in my 52 weeks savings big old envelope. Um, let's see, I'm gonna put five. Oh my God, five here. And these are 20s, and I'll put the 20s here. All right. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and draw for next month, so I'm gonna remove 44. Okay. Um, but yeah, but I'd like to say thank you to everybody that's helping me out with this. Just leave me a comment, and I'll be happy to add your name and your amount to my little bowl. Okay, so the next one is Stacy H. She chose $56. Can it focus, focus? $56, Stacy H, 56. Uh, where is 56? Let me see. Right here. All right. So thank you, Stacy, for helping me and commenting with the amount. Um, but if you guys wanna help me, like I said, just leave me a comment. And also, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe if you wanna follow me in this journey as I try to get my two major goals done, which is um, get my sinking funds one year ahead and trying to pay off my house in 15 years. So if you wanna follow me in this journey, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button. But I will see you next time, bye.